Hello everyone. Welcome to episode 54 of the video podcast, Me and My Dog and Some Yarn. Uh, my name is Kim. I'm also known as Black Horse on Ravelry, and you can find me on Instagram as Black Horse Knitter. So welcome to the show. Uh, today is June 16th, 2015. It's a Tuesday, and as you can see, I'm home from work. Um, I live in Houston, Texas, if you don't know that already, and we've got a tropical storm headed our way. Uh, it was supposed to make landfall last night, and it didn't. Um, it kind of stalled out there in the Gulf, and I guess it's supposed to come in, they said this morning, but it's already almost 10 o'clock, so... I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't think it's going to be as bad as they say, uh, but we're prepared anyways. We're home. Um, I've got Dottie over here on the floor and she's snoring. So if you hear snoring, it's Dottie. And my hubby and I ran to Dunkin' Donuts real quick and got us iced coffee. And now we're just taking it easy. And I thought I would come and spend some time with you guys. So I hope you all are doing well. Um, it has been just a little over a week since I podcasted. Um, I haven't done a lot of knitting. I'll tell you that up front. Um, I got sick with food poisoning last Monday and I'm just now getting over it. Well, I'm over it, but I'm not, don't ask me to go run around the block or anything, but I feel much, much better. And so I started knitting two nights ago. So I didn't, when, you know you're sick when you don't feel like knitting, sitting up to knit. So glad that's over. Um, anyways, let's get started with the show. Um, first, I want to announce our new member. Her name is Carolyn, and her Ravelry name is CJ240, and she is from New Brunswick, Canada. So welcome, Carolyn. Um, I'm glad you found us, and I'm glad you joined the group, and I look forward to getting to know you. So welcome, and then um, I want to tell you about our swap. It's the first swap we're going to have in the group, and it is a uh, I'm calling it the Summer Mini Skein Swap. And what you do is you swap six mini skeins that are five grams each and one small surprise of your choice. So an example would be maybe a few packets of coffee or a few packets of tea, um, stitch markers, um, favorite candy bar, but in the summer, it probably wouldn't be a good idea if it melted, um, perhaps, you know, chocolate. So, um, I don't know, just whatever you can think of, uh, that's small, um, to add along with the mini skeins. Um, the mini skeins should probably be super wash, um, because they're, they'll probably be made into blankets and I know a lot of you guys are making blankets so I thought this would be a good idea um, to share and swap out mini skeins so we have a variety of colors um, in our blankets excuse me excuse me my allergies are driving me crazy okay so if you're interested um, please go sign up in the Ravelry uh, thread and signups are going to go on now to June 26th, and then I'm going to announce the partners on June 30th, and I'm going to give you until July 10th to get your packages in the mail. That means it'll if you're in the United States, you won't have to mail them out until after the July 4th holiday. Participate. Um, it should be a lot of fun. Sign up. Okay, something is wrong with my my video. It keeps freezing. Let's I'll keep going and if it stops then I I might record re-record or try to edit, but I don't edit very well. So, um okay. So, 
what I've been working on or what I've finished since last time I spoke to you is uh, da -da. these are my husband's socks they're made out of Croy patent Croy and they are so nice looking the only thing is I'm so used to making my legs um, short that I made his legs somewhat short as well although I made them longer I think than I make my own but he says they should have been like an inch or two taller so note to self next time <laughs> but they're finished and I think you will love them he picked out the color he went shopping in the yarn stash and he chose these and I'm really happy with them I just did a vanilla vanilla sock toe up uh, started with 12 stitches I knit these on a number two so they'd be a little bit bigger a US two I did the afterthought heel and I did um, tutu ribbing at the top so that is one project done the other project which I'm super excited about and if you've been watching um, Instagram if you follow me on Instagram then you probably saw this last night um, I finished my knitting basket and here it is and um, this is where I stitched it together and I'm not too happy about that but that's gonna sit to the back but here it is it's got legs and I just stitched them with thread just sewing thread and I was gonna make this puffy um, but once I got it on here, it wasn't really as puffy as I thought. So um, this used to be brown, and my husband painted it white for me. And I just love it. I stapled it around the edge on the top and on the bottom. And I'm super excited about this. I think I might keep my... my uh, crochet blanket in there um, because it I'm gonna sit it over here next to my chair on the other side and just whenever I feel like it um, I can just pull that out it'll be available because I do knit on it I don't knit on it all the time or crochet on it I don't crochet very often on it um, when I get new mini skeins I'll do two or three and then I'm done for a week or so and then I do two or three more so um, yeah, I'm going to keep it over there and it'll be nice and handy for when I'm ready to crochet on those. So, um, that, those are the only finished objects I have. Um, I did start one project two nights ago when I started feeling better and that is, I'm finally casting on my June socks and they are the official, it's for the officially unofficial Desert Vista Dye Works Sock of the Month Club. And I ordered from her, I found an old gift card, um, which I thought I had just totally lost from two Christmases ago. And I found it in a purse that was stuck in a pocket. I don't know why. Um, but it was like Christmas all over. And so I ordered two skeins of yarn with the gift card. And I ordered... Um, we salute you and I love this yarn it is red and white stripe and it comes with enough for the toe and heel and I think probably enough for the cup as well aren't those fantastic it's on the sparkly base which I believe is Zen yes it's Zen, which is a, is 80% a superwash wool and 20% nylon. And uh, Stellina red, white, and blue. And here they are. And I'm just doing a toe up sock. I did I did the rounded toe for these. And I've got that linked in my project page if you're interested. 
Um, but I really like the rounded toe. I did that on one other sock and I really like the way it fits. That's my little Texas stitch marker, which I love. Um, just knit on nitpicks. And I need, I need your opinion. Can you guys please tell me in the episode thread what needles you like best for Magic Loop? Because I do like to do my socks on uh, double pointed needles, but sometimes I like to do Magic Loop. And these nitpicks, they don't slide over the needle going from the cord to the needle. I don't know if it's just the pair that I have or if that's somewhat standard. But can you please tell me what you use for Magic Loop that works best for you? And I want to know if they slide really good over here because that is so aggravating to get to the end of the row and get on to the, your next row and try to slide those stitches back on the needle. Drives me crazy. Um, so please tell me um, if you have a suggestion for needles for Magic Loop. Okay, so that's one project. Oh, you know what? That's the only project. That's the only project. I'm sorry. Um, but hopefully next week I will have more projects to show you. Um, now that I'm feeling better. Um, but let's see. Oh, I want to, uh, I want to tell you, um, for, in my Etsy store, I'm about to revamp the whole store and change up uh, some of my project bags. I've got some new pattern designs out and um, my hubby bought me a sewing machine, a new one, and I love my sewing machines. I have, well, I actually have a collection. Um, my husband tells me I have too many, which is probably true. Um, I have an old white from the 60s over here and I have a Nechi over there, and they're both from the 60s, probably mid to late 60s or maybe early 70s. They're big, heavy metal machines, and they work wonderful for straight stitching. Um, but they ha you have to keep them oiled, which I'm, I'm sure you have to keep all machines. But I was just ready for something new. Um, I had a new, I think it's called an Alina from about 15 years ago and I never could keep the tension on that thing. It just, uh, I was so a few seams and then I would need to readjust the tension and it drove me crazy. So I told my husband, you know, I really would like a new machine. And so he's bought me a new machine. It's a Bernina and I've ordered it and um, it's coming probably next week, I hope. So anyways, um, I am getting rid of all my, my inventory that I have. Um, I went through my box of, um, projects, project bags, and I have quite a few. So if you would like to order from my shop, I'm giving 25% off to all viewers and the code is going to be REVAMP. R-E-V-A-M-P, all capital letters. I don't know if that matters. Um, but yeah, 25% off of your purchase of $15 or more. So um, I, will sh I will show you the bags that I have at the end of the podcast. I just wanted to put that out there real quick because if you're in the, if you're searching for a bag, I've got Halloween, I've got Christmas, I've got 4th of July, and I've got just regular um, bags. They're all drawstring. So stay tuned to the end of the podcast. And I will go through and show some of those if you're interested. Um, but I wanted to show you um, my other purchases. Um, so when I ordered the We Salute You from Desert Vista Dye Works, I also ordered this one. And it's 1949 m m Colorway. And it is the striping. Yeah, striping. I thought it was, but then it looked like something else was. And it's the colors of M&M's. Yellow and green 
and brown. I'm really excited about that. So I also bought this a few weeks ago and I don't think I showed it yet. This is um, 100 Quick and Easy Crochet Makes and it had some cute ideas in here and I don't really have a lot of crochet books or crochet magazines because I really can't read the patterns. Um, but I saw this little summer top and I thought this was really cute. And I'm thinking since it's grain squares, maybe I could do that. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Um, the bottom part isn't granny squares though, so I might need some help. I just thought that was really cute. And there is a cute little granny square bag. And there's several cute things in here. Um, I just decided to get it and see and I don't know if I don't make anything out of it. Um, maybe I'll just pass it on to someone else. But it had some cute stuff. I like this little cardigan. I think that's cute. Anyways, um, so yeah, that was 100 quick and easy crochet makes. And now it is time for the vintage pattern of the week. And it's going to be Baby Book Happy in Cotton. And it was made, it's put out by DMC. And it was volume 21, and it was 50 cents. And it's got a bunch of cute baby stuff. I so need a little baby to knit for. Um, I'm not ready for grandchildren yet. Um, but look at this. Aren't those cute? There are so many cute things in here. Oh, and this is from 1958. I love this one. This little um, onesie. Isn't that cute? So cute, cute, cute. And there's some little cardigans. Isn't that cute? I just love baby, baby clothes. You know, they knit up really fast too, not like making a sweater for yourself. This one has a little bonnet. And um, that's a lace pattern on each side. Kind of looks like it might be a cable in the screen, but it's really a lace pattern. And this one looks like it's probably crochet. And it's got the bonnet as well. And this one is crochet. Oh, and here, this shows all the patterns in the book. I think. Some really cute patterns. It's a bunch of soakers, different kinds of soakers. Oops, can y'all see that? Oh, and here's little booties and hats. That's cute, I like that one. And then here's one too. I like the one that buttons under the chin, that's cute. And here's like a little wrap cardigan. And blankets. I like, um, oh no, that doesn't have the rib. I made a blanket um, a few years ago for a friend and it had the, I put the satin uh, edging around the edge and it turned out so cute. Um, I thought that one had it, but it doesn't. 
Um, but that's Baby Books, Happy to Knit. I mean, Happy in Cotton. And it's by Dan. So, that's uh, all I have for the podcast. But if you want to stick around, I will um, show you a few bags that will be listed in the store. Um, and if not, I will catch you guys later. So, um, thanks for watching. Okay, so if um, get my box over here, I found a huge box. I keep I keep my um, project bags in an IKEA box up in my closet, and right now in the store, I have um, this patriotic um, hero bag. All of my bags are lined, and they all have my label inside. Um, and I've got the drawstring with the little latch to keep it closed. Okay, so we've got this one. And then um, I've got two Halloween sacks. And they are not lined. This one is just, this one is just uh, an inexpensive um, little bag. You could use it as a trick-or-treat bag for the kids. Okay, and then this is my regular style bag with a drawstring. And then I've got this color. And I've got this. I've got cowboy. And did I not show this one already? Nope. This is vintage um, 4th of July. And I have an owl, oops, an owl bag. I didn't realize I had so many bags. I've got another patriotic bag. I've got a donkey bag. And a monkey bag. And that's, we've got little hearts. Just think that's so cute. I've got another hearts with roses bag. And I've got an owl bag. And a springtime bag. And a Fourth of July dog bag. Oh. This one's one of my favorites. And I have a UT bag. And then I have two market bags, which I had in my shop years ago, and I didn't even realize I still had them. Well, maybe two or three years ago. They're just um, market bags, and they are fully lined. And... Um, just carry it to your market. You can fold it up in your purse and then use it um, for vegetables or whatever. They're also good for the beach uh, or the pool because you can throw in your towel and your uh, sunscreen. Anyways, um, that is it. So if you're interested, go check out my Etsy store. And the code again is REVAMP. R-E-V-A-M-P for 25% off. And that sale goes until the 30th of June. So um, I guess that's it. I will talk to you guys later. Y'all have a great week. Bye-bye. It keeps freezing. Let's, I'll keep going. And if it stops, then I, I might re-record re or try to edit. But I don't edit very well. So, um, okay, so what I've been working on, or what I've finished since last time I spoke to you, is, uh, da -da. these are my husband's socks, they're made out of Croy, patent Croy, and they are so nice looking. The only thing is I'm so used to making my legs um, short that I made his legs somewhat short as well. Although I made them longer, I think, than I make my own. 
but he says they should have been like an inch or two taller. So note to self next time. <laughs> but they're finished and I think you will love them. He picked out the color. He went shopping in the yarn stash and he chose these and I'm really happy with them. I just did a vanilla, vanilla sock toe up. Uh, started with 12 stitches. I knit these on a number two so they'd be a little bit bigger, a US2. I did the afterthought heel and I did um, tutu ribbing at the top. So that is one project done and a lot of knitting. I'll tell you that up front. Um, I got sick with food poisoning last Monday and I'm just now getting over it. Well, I'm over it, but I'm not. Don't ask me to go run around the block or anything, but I feel much, much better. And so I started knitting two nights ago. So I didn't, when, you know you're sick when you don't feel like knitting, sitting up to knit. So glad that's over. Um, anyways, let's get started with the show. Um, first, I want to announce our new member. Her name is Carolyn, and her Ravelry name is CJ240, and she is from New Brunswick, Canada. So welcome, Carolyn. Um, I'm glad you found us, and I'm glad you joined the group, and I look forward to getting to know you. So welcome, and then um, I want to tell you about our swap. It's the first swap we're going to have in the group, and it is a... Uh, I'm calling it the summer mini skein swap and what you do is you swap six mini skeins that are five grams each and one small surprise of your choice so an example would be maybe a few packets of coffee or a few packets of tea um, stitch markers um, um, the other project, which I'm super excited about, and if you've been watching um, Instagram, if you follow me on Instagram, then you probably saw this last night, um, I finished my knitting basket. And here it is. And um, this is where I stitched it together. And I'm not too happy about that, but that's going to sit to the back. But here it is. It's got legs. And I just stitched them with thread, just sewing thread. And I was going to make this puffy, um, but once I got it on here, it wasn't really as puffy as I thought. So um, this used to be brown, and my husband painted it white for me. And I just love it. I stapled it around the edge on the top and on the bottom. And... I'm super excited about this. I think I might keep my my uh, crochet blanket in there um, because it. I'm gonna sit it over here next to my chair on the other side, and just whenever I feel like it, um, I can just pull that out. It'll be available because I do knit on it. I don't knit on it all the time or crochet on it. I don't crochet very often on it. Um, when I get new mini skeins, I'll do two or three and then I'm done for a week. Hello everyone. Welcome to episode 54 of the video podcast, Me and My Dog and Some Yarn. Uh, my name is Kim. I'm also known as Black Horse on Ravelry and you can find me on Instagram as Black Horse Knitter. So welcome to the show. Uh, today is June 16th, 2015. It's a Tuesday, and as you can see, I'm home from work. Um, I live in Houston, Texas, if you don't know that already, and we've got a tropical storm headed our way. Uh, it was supposed to make landfall last night, and it didn't. Um, it kind of stalled out there in the Gulf, and I guess it's supposed to come in... They said this morning, but it's already almost 10 o'clock, so I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't think it's going to be as bad as they say, uh, but we're prepared anyways. We're home. 
Um, I've got Dottie over here on the floor and she's snoring. So if you hear snoring, it's Dottie. And my hubby and I ran to Dunkin' Donuts real quick and got us iced coffee. And now we're just taking it easy and I thought I would come and spend some time with you guys. So I hope you all are doing well. Um, it has been just a little over a week since I podcasted. Um, I haven't done favorite candy bar, but in the summer it probably wouldn't be a good idea if it melted. Um, perhaps you know chocolate. So um, I don't know, just whatever you can think of uh, that's small. Um, to add along with the mini skeins. Um, the mini skeins should probably be super wash um, because they're, they'll probably be made into blankets. And I know a lot of you guys are making blankets, so I thought this would be a good idea um, to share and swap out mini skeins. So we have a variety of colors um, in our blankets. Excuse me. Excuse me. My allergies are driving me crazy. Okay, so if you're interested, um, please go sign up in the Ravelry uh, thread. And signups are going to go on now to June 26th. And then I'm going to announce the partners on June 30th. And I'm going to give you until July 10th to get your packages in the mail. That means it'll, if you're in the United States, you won't have to mail them out until after the July 4th holiday. Participate. Um, it should be a lot of fun. Sign up. Okay, something is wrong with my my video.